called Abaya Kuta was founded in 1830 after the inter-tribal wars ravaged refugees in Egba Forest from their original homes between 1817 and 1830. The name of the town, Abaya Kuta, was derived from the protection which the fleeing settlers sought under the Alumo Rock, now a tourist center in the town. Abaya Kuta means the refugees under a rock, signifying the protection which the Alumo Rock offered the refugees from possible attacks. now then nothing like leaves nothing like steps people do climb manually to get to the top of the road with their barefoot that time but now it is very very easy but that time where we are we live here that time you should understand so when the government take over they have to demolish all those houses just to verify this because that's why we have the gallery we have the e we also have the leaf that will take us to the top but the front part of it is still I'm looking at this view from this aspect. On this side, they are touching. When we get to the side, look at it. This is the head. This is the bust. And the belly. And when the woman is doing that, the eye out of the back. This is on the side. This is not telling us that only more of to a woman or a woman to a Don't go back and say that only more is a woman that, no, it's not like that. But from the view of looking at this very well, you understand? It means, yeah, this is passing the message. It's passing the message that God created this rock for the sake of the of we as that people took our refuge on that. Because the name of this town, Abelkota, originated from here. So when we are from under a young empire looking for where to stay that time, the black people ran from the law to this place for good to be so don't, don't let us go there, let's tell you more and more about it. So let's walk around and check everything. Yeah, so we have many things to showcase. You can see this. This is the activity. This is from car. I can't cook, I can't want that we drink. And after we drink the water inside, we trash the thing. That is what they used to do. You can touch and feel it. Yeah, they can't put some more shit. And this is the whole issue in Lagos. You see, the whole issue in Lagos is made from can. They are all made from can. So, here we have pictures showing all our living. You can see, that's Baba Abu. That's Baba Abu. So, that's the only thing in the world. So, we have them all. They show you can't empty or you lack. A Guinness Hour of Day, we have a national country, we have a lot of them, everything like that. And I understand that they do have a degree, you know, Abbey Okuta is locally known as a degree producer, I can't understand it, they normally produce it there. A D, a red A D, a red A D, a red A D, but the application word is A D, that we tie and we die, you can understand. So they have them in different courts, different motifs. So they are all for sale. So they are five stars. After this group, this is the next step.
once again to Historical Cultural Gallery. Over here we have some set of pictures which are showcasing some important places here in Nigeria. The first picture here is showcasing the first church in West Africa, in Nigeria, in Abel Buta, in Ogu State, here, which is the Cathedral Church of St. Peter's Aki, which was built by Henry Thousand in 1844. And right here we have the first mosque in Egbaland, which is Kobiti Central Mosque, which was built with Maud in 1922, and later rebuilt with Brick in 1925. Right here we have the old look of the King Palace, and Fianna Kiss in Legba, which is the primary school of Egbala. And over here also we have Shudeke Memorial Cemetery. Shudeke was the great warrior who fought for the Egbas. But after the war, he was buried there, but this was now built on it to honor him by Pastor Tunde Bakari, the Pastor of Latarin Assembly. Right here, this one is the Great Shabby Forest in Holy Shabby. This Shabby was a great warrior who fought for the Egbas, but after the war, he vanished at this point. Said, then, where the vanish, turn to stream, turn to live out, turn to any visible monument for people to recall or remember them. And also, we do celebrate the festival, the last week of February, and first week of March, in which we have the Shabby Day. Over here, we have Guadi Egbas. Anyone from Egbas must belong to one of these four years. After some of that, we have two popular people from there, Fela's family and also the rest of the Shrinkers family. Okay, on the we have the Joshua's family. Black Black Son and we have the Chief and the last family. And also from Wolf Son and we have Chief Pollution of Abbasudo and Senator Shulam. Right below here, this is the Egbas family. Glory of the Lord, but then let the Lord be the Lord. That anthem was composed by Philas grandfather on 27th of June 1922. And over here we have our local musical instrument. This is talking drum. Why this one is called Omele? This Omele. We have local musical section. We have Shekere. This is and also we have samba, this samba which is being placed at the middle of the lab to play. And also we have one thing in common here in Nigeria which we call as Piggy Bank, which is known as Kolo. We have different types of Kolo, we have Kolo Niki, Kolo Niri, and also Kolo Alamo. The one I'm holding here is from Clay. And also we have our local cage where we put our end bed files. That's Agua Die. And also we have Iyailu here, a drum with a bell is called Dundu. The name of the bell at the side is called Shawurede. And also we have our Yoruba novels of different versions and different authors. Dio Fagua. Books from him, we have books of Obojo, then we go to Mole. And if you only go to, and if you don't know, you go to and it's all to Mali. You go to Mali. Over here also, we have Shuk, Shawori, then this is Menomo, Japati, Ruku, Okoyoni, Ajalu, Leru, Oleku, Yoruba Dictionary. And over here also, we have Kani Kapo. This is Igaf, Rebete, Aye Gogmo, Rireru, and also this is Iremoji. Over here also we have the about literature books, which are different from novels like Arisha Mashi, Enurio, Odile, Iwale, Warukmi, Benio, Shishin, Tolua, and so on. And over here also we have some set of beats, which we know as Inu. This is Inu, Loba Eleke. Whenever it is being placed on the wrist, it's a sign of reality. And also we have our local cup, which we know as Iga Kalabash. It's being used to take my mind and also water. Why this one is called Ea, which is the cover. This is the one that we use to cover it. And also, we have Gako, which is being used to scoop food, Amala, and so on. And also, we have our mastery here, which we know as Egungu from Oyo City. Why this one is Afugu from Ijebu Fair? We have two types of Afugu. We have Elefumi Osu and Ungwaradi. This one here is Elefumi Osu. White Miss F, Red Miss Osu. Elefumi Osu from Ijebu Ife. Why this one is called Oshi Shongo? This by God of Thunder. Oshi Shongo. God of Thunder. Yes. And also here, yeah, the male and the female. It is being used by the Goni Fraternity and also it is being used to pass a message, either good or bad. Whenever they are done with this, they will keep it inside there, which is known as Kokma Edan. Why this one is called a star of Ba? Whenever they want to finalize any decision, they just lift it up and it's done. So that's final. Almost similar to what you are using as of assembly as a maze. Why this one is Ayo? 
from Lagos State, but originalized from Ogo State here in Peru. We now know Abeguta for one thing in common, which is known as City of Adi. Adi, our not as tight as that. These are the set of clothes from it. This Adi rare material. Why this one is round neck from it? Adi, our This is. And also, we have some set of Kampala, which are tops that you can rock on your jeans for both male and female unisex. And also, we have gown, sold gown for the female children, for children, and also for adults of different ages. Everything are all available. Over here, the one we have there is sold at the rare materials. Soot material, this one is painted from Ghana also, and also we have stony gown. This is stony gown for the female. This is this stony gown for the female. And also, we have them as handbags, we made them as handbags, adware material, and printing material, school bags, everything are all for sale. Let's now move to the about section here. Yeah. Yeah. Where we have Ori, this Ori, Shea Butter, and also we have Ori Ghana from Ghana. The fragrance is the difference. And also we have Ghana soup, this Ghana soup. We have a natural black soup, Oshe Duju. This is this. This is Okuta, which is being used to scrub the feet. And also we have coconut oil, Adi Agbon. And also we have Pampane oil, Adi Duju. This is what I said. We have raw on the meat, and they recommend for cinnamon, and also with ginger, which has a lot of function mm -hmm. in the body system, and also boosts the muscles. No, 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 no. We have uh, this. This one is romanticism balm. We have pure honey. These are pure honey. Pure honey. And over here also we have apps for men and for women for sexual performance. For the men we have AK47. We have Belurie. And also we have Sheru Baon. Over here also we have Jedi. This is Jedi. This is Agumu Jedi. Agumu Okwain. This is Agumu for high blood pressure, hypertension, and so on. Why this one is upper supplement that supports diabetes, high blood pressure, and also has a lot of function in the body system. This one is abs for chronic pie. And about in New York, this one is roots Agbu for Okwain. And then I put it up by Jedi. Let's now move up here. We have Agumu for AK-47. This is Eda, Agumu Eda. And also Agumu for rheumatism. This one is Agumu Kokoro. This is Agumu for infection. And also black seed oil infection. This helps for infection. And also coconut oil. This coconut oil. Over here we have flat tummy, abs, and so on. You're welcome once again to Historica and Cultural Arts Gallery. I remain my name, Anulua. Thank you very much. The Alumo Rock is located in the city of Abeokuta, Ogun State, Nigeria. Historically, the rock was a natural fortress for the Egba people during inter-tribal warfare in the 19th century. It provided protection to the Egba people when they needed it the most, and is now held in high esteem by the members of the Egba clan. What type of rock is Alumo? Granite Rocks Alumo Rock is a massive outcrop of granite rocks of primitive formation from which Abeokuta, the capital of Ogun State, derived its name. The highest point on the Alumo rock is about 137 meters from the base of the rock. Olumorok, from the base to this point, you have already done 120 steps. So let me give you a round of applause for that. And this place we are is the first landing stage out of the three or four stages that we have here in Olumorok. 
This garden, its name after a warrior, named Lishabi Agbongbuakala. Lishabi is a man that fought for the liberation of this town. That is why we all honor him. We honor him by naming ourselves Omo Eba, Omo Lishabi. So we do celebrate Lishabi every 2nd of March, every year. So this garden is meant for relaxation, picnic, and for birthday pass. And people do relax after climbing up before going back to their various houses. So we have three trees that we can as well talk about. The first one here is called flamboyant tree. In Yoruba, we call it pasheke. Pasheke tree produces some pod. If you look up, you can see those long pod on it. When it is dry, either you tap or you shake, it sounds cheke, cheke. Because of the sound it makes, the Yoruba people name it pasheke. The second one here is called mint tree. That's Duguyaro. The leaves are highly medicinal. The purple and drink as herbs, very good for malaria and typhoid in the body. The last one over there is called Ibiodon. Odon tree is used as an event center. In the olden days, nothing like all or canopy. Anything they want to do that time is being done under the tree of Odon. And you buy the Shekololu for a major part the Labe Giodon. So if you want to see me, I'll look at the Labe. The city of Bayakuta is just about an hour's drive from the bustling metropolitan city of Lagos, Nigeria. New renovations completed in early 2006 upgraded the infrastructure of the site to include a new museum, restaurants, water fountain and the ancient Otoku market, where local artisans and traders enjoy haggling over prices just as much as the customers like to find a bargain. The market lies just outside the Alumo rock premises. It is the center of the indigenous Abayakuta industry of Thai and Dai, locally known as Adire. Adire crafters, usually women both old and young, show off their designs in sheds alongside the roads. Behind these sheds are buildings where many of these crafters live and work and where their parents did before them. In places where the plaster has cracked off the walls, you may see traces of the mud bricks used in the original construction. <laughs> It's like coming to this town without visiting that place. Ah, today, go to Nurara, El Balashiva. The lesson, a cargo, a telemi, a bag of toy in that. the rock every year every 5th of august two people are allowed to go inside the shrine the chief priest of this town and the paramount law which is the alake of the land they will be there praying for the old town and for those that climb so that there won't be any bad casualty and ever since then nobody has ever fallen down on top of the rock people that have believed in tradition do come here to come and plead for whatever they want when their prayer has been answered they will come back and come and say thank you to the gods that is why we can be able to see something over the Ulumo Abelowo, Abelomo, Abeloro. It's a deity you can pick it for money, for wealth, and for children, for those that have believed in traditions. In this town, we have four kings Alaki of Ebalan, Oshinle Okiono, Bagura of Agura, and the Ulumo of Uru. We are to all the kings, that is why we are allowed to go inside. Then they use human beings, but now due to the civilization, they use people like Ahok, Coca Cola, in the Fowl Chicken, and they use the local beans called Chinna. That's why we can go to see those bottles over there. So after this place, we are moving to the cave where they stay during the one where the name of this town will be originated. So, do you have any questions? So, we are moving this way. Normally, it's the horizontal on that space. This is the one that invited the to come and put it down here so they can now let them go. When they were coming, they are shouting Egba, wow, Egba means airport, the local name of Abel Kita. They got around 18,000, not quite long, another will come to between the Egba and the Gaoni, now they are in public. Between three years, 18,000 to 18,000, the Egba scared their wife and their children under the shore, while the warriors will go to the top of the rock to side for their enemies. From the top, they can easily see virtually everywhere, seeing them from afar, they lay ambush on ground. That was the logic and the strategy of the new term. After the war, they concerted all the things that everything has been sought. Maybe they should move back to a law, they move further. The past said no, they should move under the space. But all their problems, all their sovereignty has been ended here. Maybe you know what the Allah is that one year when we are sick, they show the world into all the world.
Like a native doctor, people do come here to come and consult them, those people that have believed in traditions. And we have the oldest among them, she is called Igao Lumo, one 37 years of age. That's a picture of Mama Pussimon's wife. She's very, very old now, that is why she do not used to come here often and often, especially if she has something that is important that she wanted to come and do it. That is when you see Mama here. That's their own entrance over there. This one, she is here. We do come to this street and go back to that. Place. This is like their, like their office. Yes, when, during their festive period, this is this man, this woman stand as their security. So when, you know, we used to secure them during that because they do celebrate Orisha festival in a big way. Do you understand? Like a month, they will be here for good one month. Everybody will be here, and people do come from outside, come and rejoice with them here. Yeah. And look at this tree. We call this tree Akoko tree. We are the same of inferiority. Then we are this particular one, it is meant for the alaki of this town alone. During the rainy season or dry season, it doesn't do that. But you might go back to your game. And it has been there over 200 years. 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 They don't use it for any other alaki except the alaki of the land. And look at this one like a well. It's not a well. We call it Ojubo or Baluayi. This is what we call God of Hama. So those mamas are the custodians of all the deities. We have we have the deities here. We have Ogu, we have Obatala, we have Maluaye, we have the outside the gates over there. So any kind of deities, we have it. And what well, the only different thing is called Orisha activity. They believe by worshiping this idol continuously, they will live long. That is why they are old but young. Understand, so people do come here and say, Ah, Mama, it might be a token. So, I confirm, Mama, I don't do an academy. Come on, let's okay. I 
So, we also have a tree here. We named this tree Baobab tree. Baobab. That's the Gyoshi in Yoruba. The biological name says Adonsonia digitata. This tree, we can only find this kind of tree in a tropical area or in a savannah land like that. Near the Yoruba, only you will put a man back. What do you kapa? A pao kapa? What do you koshi? A pao koshi? What do you kaponga? Or she didn't koshi? A pao modi kapo kaponga gushi. Consider how big it is. There's no fat or tall you are. You can never use your hand around the tree because of the massiveness. So I pray in the name of Almighty God, our enemy hands will never try and move us in Jesus' name. And you can see, they used to peel back of this tree. Instead of using the incubators for those premature babies, they will peel the back of the tree, they will soak it in water for good seven days. After that seven days, they will use the water to bath of the baby from neck down. But the water must not touch his or her head so that the head will not be bigger than the body. And it still works for those that have the baby. It's about that I repeat. So the more they are feeding the body, the tree is getting bigger. You know, but man, I will pack up a gushi. I will make him son. So we need to be sure that we are part of the policy. So I'm just going to do it. Yes. At this point, we have two ways to get to the top of the rock. We have the modern step and we have the ancient route. But because of the rain, we all go through the modern stairs. Here we have some sculptures, symbol of those that fought for us during the war. They are carved there in their remembrance. This is not where they were buried, but just their artwork in the remembrance of the, of the great warrior. This one represents the leader of the war. We call him Nishap Agbo Wakala, followed by Adagba, the man that lifted the rock in 1830. We have somebody like Alati Shea. That one at the corner there represent the first yellow day of the crown. That's Madame Mefuli Tinobu. And we have a crown there to represent the first king there in Abe Okuta. Okenu first. At the for, front of that crown, we have a face that shows the care. Shows the care is the first by Logan of Ebba land. And is the one that led the world to this place. And is the one that embraced Christianity. This time. That is why we have the first church in Nigeria there in Abe Okuta. How is money they spent in those days? Oh, where you 50 of these that time, they call it of Kekon. Of Kekon is like millions. Now it's equivalent to 50 cobble now. And the ancient tree to the top of the rock before the step and the elevator, nothing like those iron steps there before. This is how God arranged the steps to get to the summit of the rock. Some are rocky and rough, but now that it's rain now, so it will be more slippery. So let's go through the modern step before we get to the top of the rock. So, are we ready?
city of Abayakuta would be incomplete without stopping by at the ancient site which is called Alumo Rock. It is no surprise that this rock is located here, as the name Abayakuta means under the rock. Alumo Rock is said to be 137 meters above sea level but that isn't much of a problem as there are man-made stairs and crevices to use to climb the giant collection of rocks. From the top of the rock, you can view other tourists' locations in Abayakuta like First Church of Nigeria, the Central Mosque, the River Ogu as well as the family house of the late Mashud Abiola. Alumo Rock used to once upon a time serve as a fortress and hiding place of the Egba people in the 19th century at about 1830, now it serves as a site that reminds the Egba people of their history and also as a tourist site. You are welcome to the top of the rock. The height of Olumo Rock is 137 meters above the sea level. 137 meters, that's about 410 feet from down to the top. And from this place, we can be able to see almost everywhere in the whole of Abel Kuta. To that side, we have the first church in Nigeria, even in the West Africa, St. Peter's Cathedral and the Anglican Church. You can see it building there, that ash color with the tower down there. Can you see it? That's the first church in Nigeria, even in the West Africa, St. Peter's Cathedral, Anglican Church. There's a tree on that rock, white and blue, then after that tree, at the back of it, that ash color with the tower. Have you seen it, sir? Yeah. That's the first church. It was built in 1844. So look at that brown and white over there. That looks like church. That's the first mosque in this town. Like that central mosque, Gobiti. It was rebuilt in 1925. Then after the mosque, there are some green buildings. After the mosque over there, that's MP Abiola family's house, where he was born and brought up. When the tall mass there, NTA, Abdel Ufuta, Nigerian Television Authority. Down the mass, we have two separated buildings. That's old BBHS, Baptist Boys High School, the school our former president of Basson Joe and uh, some big dignities high school they all went to. This is an Iroko tree going in between the rocks, still flourishing over 350 years of age. Then we have a river there, River Ogun, where we derive the name of this state from, Ogun State, Ogun River. And the river passed across four different states, Oyo, Oshun, Ondo, and Lagos. Follow the river, you get to the sea through the Republic. The river is navigable, you want to travel outside Nigeria. Can go through the river four or five years to land in America and to land in London. So, lastly, we have different meaning to the word of Ogun. The same spelling but different intonations. We have Ogun, that is God of Iron. Ogun, that is war. Ogun, medicine. Ogun, inheritance of property. There's another Ogun figure 20. Ogun, sweat. Ogun, lunge. Ogun, to found. And the last one is Ogun, that is to climb as we all climb the Lumon. Yeah. The Eba Anthem, composed by late Felaud's grandfather in 1922, says, Ibe la mi fabe ta shoko unwo duro lori Ma yo luruko Eba o, emi yo mo li shabi. Ma yo ma yo ma yo o, Lorio Lumo, Mayo, 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 Lorio Lumo, Abe Okuta, you do a da, who need a bear, who obey a lake, your comi, be do a boy, a meal, my Lorio Lumo, a meal, should go, you lock on me, you pay you a look at you, La Wai, Dang, be my yo, my yo, my yo, Lori o lumo, ma yo ma yo ma yo. Lori o lumo, ma yo ma yo means we rejoice, we rejoice on top of the lumo. Yo. So that's all about the top. Thank you and God bless you. Although it is still used for festivals which happen annually at the traditional shrine, the site is generally always just a peaceful place to go to and take in the panoramic view of the rusty roof city. Going to Alumo Rock there are a variety of things to do like rock climbing, which is the most obvious one, observing the attractions like natural tunnels, unusual trees, natural cantilevers, gardens on the rock, broken pathways, monuments of the belief system of the rock's primeval settlers etc. You can also visit the museum slash gallery at the foot of the rock. In the gallery, you can purchase art that has strong cultural and traditional ties to Abbey Akuta while also looking at historic artifacts in the museum. There is a museum guide and also a gallery guide who will narrate the details of each attraction. 
Welcome to Alumo Rock once again.
Atinga UK Productions. Please kindly subscribe to our channel. YouTube at Atinga UK. Instagram at Atinga UK. Facebook at Atinga UK. www.atinga.co.uk